Hi lovelies, I am back with another video and this one is going to be about our homes and what they provide for us, right? So there's three different things to consider because it's what the home provides for us specifically, right? Then what the home provides for our guests, like when we have guests over, what they actually feel being in your home. And the last one was, if we don't have positive things that the home should be providing for us, then I want to go over that too with you guys. Um, I hope you guys are doing amazing in mind, body, and spirit. And that this video finds you guys in a good place, you know? And if it doesn't, hopefully this can lighten up your day or help you distract your mind, at least for an instant, right? Um, so for me, I'm gonna share like what I've gone through, okay? So before I move to where I'm at right now, I could honestly tell you that that home was not providing what I needed. I could tell you that I was actually depressed where I was living before and I didn't even know. I didn't even know I was depressed, okay? It's not till I found this beautiful home that I'm at now and it provides so much tranquility, so much zen, that I'm like, oh my goodness. I really was not happy where I was before, you know? And so it was really difficult even waking up out of bed in my other place right and it was like dragging myself out of bed and like even dragging myself to that place to rest was just and it has a lot to do with what we've experienced in that home um so history right if if we've had negative events there it play it it takes a toll on us right um and we don't think about it we're just like pushing forward like trying to sweep things under the rug thinking eh, it's already done it already passed but no like we carry that stuff and especially if we don't heal from whatever happened in that house then we really it weighs heavy on us you know and so um that should be our motivation to find a new place because we don't deserve that. We don't deserve to carry this heavy burden of negativity of whatever it may be, whether it's, you know, family events that happened, things went sour or relationships, you know, arguments that have happened. And you look at something in that home, even a wall, like it, things can trigger you in that home if you are no longer happy there and so that should be your cue of you know what something's got to change i need to find a new place so that i could start fresh and i can feel happy in my home feel at peace in my home and it's so important and i feel like there's not enough light shed on this of how important it is that you have a home where there's peace, that you feel happy and you feel safe and you feel just so bliss, you know, to be in your own home. And I feel like we just put things on the back burner of like, well, it's not easy to just get up and move. It's not easy because we've been here forever. It's not easy. You know what I mean? We put so many excuses for ourselves to just stay in this unhappy home. But you really have to know that you are important and you matter and you deserve to live somewhere where you're going to be happy. And if it has to be you providing it for yourself, you working real hard to push and find a place where you can call your home and it's the most peaceful place then you should do that 
set goals for you to achieve that for yourself. Because that's exactly what I had to do. Because, and I was unhappy where I was living before for many years. But I'm like, I can't because of this. And uh, for instance, it's, um, you hold yourself back, right? Because you don't want to leave family behind. Okay, we'll leave it like that. You don't want to leave family behind. You don't, but if you're the one that's helping that family member to put that roof over their head, right? So you don't want to, so then you're putting others before you, okay? But you need to realize, like, that's not fair to you, right? That could only be for so long. So my thing is, I had to make sure that my mom, because it was where my mom's still living now, um, that she was set. So if I was going to move and provide better for me and my daughter, then I was going to make sure that I could still help her, that she was still going to be okay, even though I'm not under her roof, you know? And so we have to find a way. We can't make that as an excuse to stay somewhere where we're not happy. Because at the end of the day, like, when we're unhappy, we're dragging through the day and night and our lives and our lives being wasted, being depressed and sad and just negative things that we don't deserve, right? And so at my mom's, I could never have friends over. She's just not that type of person to to have friends over. And that sucks. Especially if you want to spend time with friends. Nope, I had to be out front, chilling in the car with my friends. Because they could not come inside. She didn't like visitors. And it's, it just sucks, all right? And the bottom line is like, my mother, okay, sadly to say, she's going to hate me. She's going to be mad that I'm putting her on blast. But it's the truth, okay? She has, um, what is it? She She's a collector. No, you guys, I'm lying. <laughs> she's what they call a hoarder, right? That tends to just, whatever she has, she has to keep it. But I want to bring light to that too, okay? Since we're on this topic. Because there's so much, like, negative light to that, right? Because people are just like, ew, you just collect all kinds of stuff. And, like, what is wrong with you? Why wouldn't you want a clean house, right? So I'm going to shed light on that from my knowledge, okay? I'm not an expert. <laughs> it's just what I've experienced and the understanding that my mom has helped me to obtain because she actually goes through this, you know? And it's crazy to think that that's an OCD thing on steroids, basically, you know? Um, but for her, okay, in her culture, um, again, I'm no expert. This is just from what she's told me. And maybe this is just her. I, I don't know. But she's told me that back in her country, okay, in El Salvador, they obviously lived in poverty. And... To her, like, everything they were able to take ownership of, whether it be something so small, you know? Bye. No, baby! Um, they felt like the more they had, they felt rich. So if their home was empty, had nobody, nothing, right? They, they, they would see it as, I'm poor. I got nothing. Right, But if they were surrounded by a bunch of stuff, even if it's stuff that's not useful, even if it's, I don't know. My, one of my mom's favorite phrases is, lo vamos a usar un día, which means like one day we'll find use for that, right? <laughs> so that's what it's been my entire life of her just collecting all kinds of stuff, especially if someone's trying to get rid of it. Oh, no, no, I'll take it. Like, I, I'll take it. And find use for it. Or, and she's done this with animals too. Oh yeah, somebody's about to 
throw a snake away, throw, not away, but get rid of it, take it to the shelf. I don't know. Um, a cat, a dog, a guinea pig, a bunny, all of these things, and she would take them in. So it's not just material things. She also with animals and stuff like that, but mostly with material things. And it's like, mom, that thing doesn't work no more. Oh yeah, well we can fix it. We can find someone to fix it. Fine. So to her, having all of those things, all that clutter meant she's rich, she's good, she's all right, you know? But to me or any of us, it's like, what are you, what are you doing? This, this is a place filled of giving everyone anxiety who walks in, you know? And it, it was, it was pretty bad to where it got worse and worse as time went by. Cause I, mind you, okay, and this is about to get real, but I mean, what can we do? All right, I have to be transparent with you guys so that you see what's going on. Okay, again, my mom's gonna hate me, but it is what it is. What can we do, right? She's proud of where I am at now and she enjoys being here, you know? Um, but the point is like, we have to focus on providing good for us and our children obviously they should be more than enough motivation for you to say you know what i should find better because our kids don't deserve to live how we lived before and so um that's one aspect of things and so that motivated me to think you're not getting any younger dude you need to find a place to live even if it means you buckling down on spending, if you need to start saving, you need to make it happen, you know? And so I set my mind and, and told myself, hey, you need to be out of mom's place by your 30th birthday, right? And so I was searching and searching. I had been searching for months, to be honest. And I went to a few places to check them out and nothing really stuck, you know? And so, by the grace of God and my bestie, Lizette, who reached out to me and told me, hey, someone's telling me that they actually have their house for rent. She was like, and I'll let them know that you've been looking, you know, so you could go apply um, or fill an application, whatever the process is called. And I'll put in a good word for you, you know. And... Like I said, by the grace of God, I am here now and I am so grateful to Lizette and my landlord lady that I call because I couldn't be any happier. And my daughter to see how happy she is here too is incredible. And it's funny because mom gets to enjoy this place too, you know, because she helps with babysitting my daughter. And so, um, now that I live here, I value the little things. Like I couldn't even open my door all the way at my mom's house, okay? Cause there's always junk everywhere. Or her precious things is what she would call them, right? <laughs> and so the fact that I can open a door completely, the fact that I can open my window without worrying about my neighbors being creeps, so grateful all the little things you know or actually open a window to get a fresh breeze couldn't open my window at my mom's the list goes on on and on <laughs> but the point is that you have to set your mind to it and you have to tell yourself you know what if this place can't provide me a safe place a place i could be happy in then why am I here? What am I doing here? And what steps do I need to take to get out and find a place where I will be happy, you know? And so that's the aspect of for us, right? So where I live now, I am so at peace. I'm excited to come home. Um, and 
my daughter too. Before when we were at my mom's, my daughter would be like, where are we going to today, mom? Where are we going? Where are we going? Right? And now she's like, no, I don't want to go anywhere. No, I don't want to go anywhere. Because she's so happy here, you know? And so it's so refreshing and motivating that I did the right thing, you know? Um, and so, like I said, that's the aspect of us, right? Now, moving on to what our home provides for our guests, right? Let me tell you. Each and every individual who has come to visit has told me the same thing. That my home feels cozy, comfy. They're so at peace here. And that is amazing. That makes me so happy that I can provide that for someone, you know? Because maybe where they're at, they're not happy, but they can come over and be at peace at least for a little while. You know, and that's something that you should focus on and see, like, if you're not providing that for your guests, if it's negative energy in your house, then figure out where that's coming from so you can fix it. Because you would want to provide a happy Zen place for your guests, right? Because then that's one of the, what's going to keep them coming back. Mind you, okay, I'm going to be honest, me obviously when i was at mom's i was never a host right because <laughs> i never had people over so that's new to me all i know is to make sure i offer would you like something to drink <laughs> right that's always a go-to is you have to offer hello especially because it's hot these days you better be offering them something to drink but obviously y'all know i don't cook so we'll start negotiating hey what did you want to eat so we can order <laughs> but yeah that's something actually i've been working on right not as hard as i should be but i'm trying with that hello fresh stuff stuff comes in handy honestly makes me feel like i am cooking even if it is one meal <laughs> a day and everything else, I get help because mom's pretty good at cooking. Thank goodness. But yeah, so those are things that you should consider and think about. Like if your guests feel at peace in your home. And it's refreshing to hear it when they do come over, you know. Um, I'm reading from my notes. Because even before I started the vis this video, I was getting nervous. And I was like, you guys just... There's the whole presentation thing. I feel like <gasps> I freak out, but I shouldn't because I know what I'm talking about and the point I want to get across, right? So our home is a huge part of our tranquility and happiness. And that's true because like, let's say we had a stressful day at work, right? And then to come home and be stressed out, come on. Then it feels like you're not catching a break, right? And you don't deserve that. Like, okay, fine, you had a hard day at work, but when you come home, you can be at peace, right? And then deal with stress at work again. Okay, fine. And that's another video I just thought about right now of thinking about your job and what that provides for you other than money, right? So, um, see, I'm just trying to make sure. Oh, so if you do provide a great home for yourself and for your family and for your guests you should definitely praise yourself for doing so because it wasn't easy you worked your damnedest to get where you are to provide that home so it's important that you also take a step back and say hey dang i did this I worked hard and it truly has paid off by you looking around and seeing everything you've provided for yourself. And it's crazy because we don't think about how everything costs money. And maybe y'all do think about it. I don't. It's like a reality check. Like, if you want that night 
what is it called? Nightstand? Side table when you're sleeping? What? Y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? You have to pay for it. If you want a um, bed frame, you have to pay for it. If you want a damn bed, you have to pay for it. If you want a dining table, you gotta pay for it. Nothing is free. So if you want all kinds of details added to your home, you gotta pay for it. <laughs> so, like I said, today, okay, after you watch this video, I want you, yes, I'm giving you some homework to take a step back and look around you and see all of your hard work and how it's paid off because now you're in a home where you feel safe and happy and peaceful and just give yourself a pat on the back because you did that right you set your mind to it and you accomplished it so good job for that i sit here and i'm like oh my god i'm in awe still i'm so thankful so grateful for everyone who's helped me to get here and I'm just, I wake up happy to be under my own roof and to see my daughter being able to run around and not stumble on some stuff, you know, or to be able to go to the backyard and enjoy herself. Like all of that stuff is worth it in the end, you know, working hard, working six days a week to make sure I can provide for my little one, you know? So hopefully you take something out of this video and we start thinking about that kind of stuff. And to those who don't have peaceful home, don't lose hope, okay? Now is the time. If you needed a sign, girl, here it is, or man, here it is. Now is the time to start brainstorming and mapping things out so that you can figure out how to relocate yourself to a place where you will be happy and you feel at peace under your own roof. Because if you don't have peace in your home, then what? I don't think that's a home, to be honest. Because you should feel at peace you should feel safe in your own home and I'm sorry if you don't because that's not fair to you and you have to work hard to obtain that and it is possible if somebody's telling you hey you ain't gonna find better than this blah blah, blah don't listen to them because that's not true you deserve to be happy. You deserve to have a safe and peaceful home. And if whoever you're with is not providing that for you, this is when you begin to question yourself, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? This is not where it's at. And I deserve better. And even if they're telling you, like I said, no, you can't find better than it. <laughs> Let me show you, honey that I can and I will, but you have to have the strength, the courage and determination because it's not gonna be easy, I'll tell you that right now. And that's why that person that's trying to be in your head to stay in this negative home, house, place, that's them trying to control you and tell you, nah, you can't, you can't find better than here. So you're gonna aguantar everything I'm throwing at you no you need to find it in yourself to say i deserve better i don't need to be aguantando nada aguantando standing by like putting up with no you're not gonna do that so start making to-do lists of what you need to do what you the tasks whether they be small, whether you start saving, whether you talk to people, find resources to help you out. Friends, family you can lean on. If you don't, then start 
working and saving up whatever you can to figure out a way to provide a better home for yourself because you do deserve it but you have to know you do and you have to look past people who are trying to control you because that's not where it's at mm. but you have to be have courage strength within yourself and determination to work hard to provide better for yourself well that's it for this video and i will see you guys real soon i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or night whenever you decide to watch this and if you can possibly share this for me one time i will truly appreciate it and I will see you guys on my next one. Bye.